Hello and welcome to Team Techdom. In this video, we will learn about operator precedence in Python. In a numeric expression with more than one arithmetic operator, we need to know which operator has a higher priority. So here's a list that shows the order from the highest precedence to the lowest precedence rule. Parenthesis has the highest priority. This means Python will first calculate everything inside the parenthesis. The next thing we consider is exponential. It has the second highest priority. If there's an exponential in our expression, we evaluate that next after considering the parentheses. The next thing we consider is multiplication, division, and remainder. After that, we look at addition and subtraction. And finally, we look at the left to right. I'm going to explain what this means, but let's look at an example first. In this numeric expression, we have 2 plus 3 times 5 minus 12 divided by 3 raised to the power of 1. So what is Python going to calculate first? If you look at the numeric expression, we see that we have the addition operator, the multiplication operator, subtraction operator, division and exponential. So which of these rules has the highest precedence? That would be the exponential. We will evaluate the exponential first. So 3 raised to the power 1 is going to give us 3. Now we have 2 plus 3 times 5 minus 12 divided by 3. Multiplication and division have the same level of precedence. So which one will Python evaluate first? This is where left to right comes in. If we move from left to right, which comes first? Is it multiplication operator or the division operator? It is the multiplication operator. So we're going to do the multiplication first. 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. So we can divide now. 12 divided by 3 is going to give us 4.0. Remember, we use the single forward slash for floating point division. Therefore, our result will always be a float, even if we are dividing two integers. Again, we now have the addition and subtraction operator, and they have the same level of precedence. Which one will Python evaluate first? That will be addition, because moving from left to right, the addition operator comes first. So 2 plus 15 is going to give us 17, and 17 minus 4.0 will result in 13.0 and now python is going to store our result 13.0 in the variable x let's see another example now we have our numeric expression to be 2 raised to the power 2 plus 4 divided by 4 minus 12 times in brackets 4 minus 1 in this example we have parentheses and the parentheses has the highest precedence so Python will evaluate what's in the parentheses first. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Next, we have 2 raised to the power 2 plus 4 divided by 4 minus 12 times 3. We have 2 raised to the power 2, which will give us 4. So Python will evaluate multiplication and division next. Moving from left to right, the floating point division comes first. So Python is going to evaluate the floating point division before multiplication. So 4 divided by 4 is going to give us 1.0. And now 12 times 3 is going to give us 36. Python will have to do addition first before subtraction because we're moving from left to right and the addition operator comes first. So if we are adding 1.0 to 4, we're going to get 5.0. So 5.0 minus 36 will give us minus 31.0 and python will now store this value minus 31.0 into the variable y 
let's implement this in Python. Okay, now we are in the IPython console of the Spider IDE, and we're going to take the first statement, which is x equals 2 plus 3 times 5 minus 12 divided by 3 raised to the power of 1. Now I'm going to run this by hitting enter on the keyboard, and we have x. In the variable explorer, we can see that um, the value is 13.0 and it's a float. Let me expand this a bit. That's the name variable name x. So if I should run x here, we get 13.0 as the answer. Now let's run the other statement. So we have y equals 2 raised to part 2 plus 4 divided by 4 minus 12 times in brackets 4 minus 1 all right so let's run this by hitting enter on the keyboard okay so we have the value to be minus 31.0 and this is the value that is stored in our variable y so if i click on y so if we print out y we get minus 31.0 Alright, in this video we've learned about operator precedence in Python and we've seen the level of precedence of the different arithmetic operators in Python. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thank you for watching. See you next time.